The Skiff is the beefiest exumer in EVE Online, toting incredible drone damage and tank, and we use it to go fishing in wormhole day trips. So if you want to make some isk while being protected, now you came to the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and Eve enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now. And this is our skiff. Now we fly this in a tri-box wormhole day trip fleet with our Proteus and Porpoise. We just put out those two videos with the fit and guide, so go check those out. And this is gonna be primarily a gas huffing fit coupled with what we call the skiff surprise. Let's dive into the fit. Now the total cost of this fit is gonna be 327 million isk. This is not a blinged fit by any means, but still tanky enough that you can go toe to toe with the best of them. Now we're going to start in the lows here because the lows we have two reinforced bulkheads and a damage control. This is to really pump up your effective HP. Takes you from 8k hull up to 13k. Then with the rigs takes you up to just shy of 16k. While we're talking about the rigs we got transverse bulkhead twos and a core field defense extender. This is the two ways that you're going to be tanking your skiff. Shield and hull baby. You could armor tank this but I don't recommend it considering your hull is actually bigger than your armor at a base value you might as well pump that up instead. Get those rookie numbers up. For your mids, we are going to be running a multi-spectrum shield hardener and a large shield extender. All this combined means you're going to come just under 100,000 EHP. A tough nut to crack. We'll talk about the rest of the mids in just a sec. We need to hit the highs because many of you are looking at this going, Laura, why the heck is there a cloak on a skiff? When we first get into wormhole space, the Proteus is our scanning ship. While that's happening, we take our skiff and our porpoise, throw it to a safe spot and cloak it up. Now they're out of sight, out of mind. I can focus on just scanning stuff down with the Proteus. This is one of the first aspects of this that makes it a buddy fit. A buddy fit is something that augments your main account, but it's something you're actively piloting right now. So we start off with the cloak to make sure that the skiff is nice and safe. Once we've scanned down a gas site, we go into the skiff's inventory and pull out the mobile depot. We can uncloak the skiff, drop the mobile depot, and swap out the cloak device with the gas cloud harvester. Now this isn't very fast at huffing gas. But one of the themes of our buddy fits is not the most isk per hour, but options or fun per hour, let's say. While the Proteus is doing combat and hacking sites, our skiff and our porpoise are being boosted and mining, compressing, storing gas. Thus meaning we're making isk while we're making isk. If you watched our other two fits, you know that we don't just do one or two things when we go out in space. We do quite a few. You'll see here we have a mobile depot. We can outfit this with strip miners to be able to go after ore as well. Now these are the tech ones simply because this character doesn't have access to tech two or all those mining crystals. There's a million of them. You prioritize gas gas when we go into the wormholes to huff, but if there isn't gas, I don't just want the porpoise and the skiff sitting there cloaked. I want them doing something. So we outfit them with mining things, we refit our porpoise to compress ore, and we go to town, focusing on the rarest ore we can get. It's slow going, but one is greater than zero. While we're on the subject of mining, the skiff does have a decent mining hold of 18 and a half M3. So when we have a bunch of loot on our porpoise, and we don't necessarily want the porpoise just sitting there, boosting the skiff away, we can still have the skiff go there, mine stuff, huff stuff, while the porpoise is cloaked and nice and safe. Once the skiff is full, we can warp it to the porpoise, have it compress, go back to the mining site. All about those options with this ship. While we're on the subject of options, let's talk about your drones. You do a decent amount of DPS with this with no drone DPS modules. 204 DPS with your Vespas and 127 DPS with your Hornets. Why bring the Hornets? They're simply there just in case we have a faster ship that the Hornets have to go catch. With the porpoise and the skiff fighting something, we get just under 500 DPS. This means we can crack C1, C2 sleepers and some C3 sites. We don't even have to bring the pro in to kill some of the sleepers. This means while we're huffing, we can kill the sleepers, get loot while we're getting loot, it keeps going. And finally, we do have some Hornet EC 300s, just in case we're getting ganked by some kind of fleet. Skiff can lock onto them, throw out these drones, and try to get some precious seconds. On the subject of ganking, let's talk about the Skiff Surprise. Yes, that is a Kaldari Navy web and a warp disruptor. You might be like, Laura, what the heck is that doing on a Skiff? I will tell you, audience. Now, the Porpoise and the Skiff are considered to be some tankier ships and not necessarily going to get approached by jackdaws or stealth bombers. But if there's a small fleet or something like a Tengu or a Proteus or a Loki, they have and will try to mess with us, try to get some free kills. What these two do is it lets us lock down whatever ships are coming at us so that the Proteus can get here and unleash its near 1000 DPS on the unsuspecting gankers. Now this has gotten us only a few kills. Think of it more as aggressive negotiations than maximum isk per hour. We don't want people to mess with us. And 
And in fact, even with the web, we had a jackdaw land on us and it was able to speed away enough that it warped out and didn't bother us anymore. All this combined, you have a 100,000 effective HP behemoth that is capable of locking down enemy targets while your alt comes in to murder them. Swappable ore and gas fits, safe AFKing with cloak, and all for 330 million isk. I love this ship. It's one of my favorite exhumers. And before we go any further, y'all know that we are EVE partners. That means that we get skins from the developers to give away to you. Those skins are valued between 50 and 300 million, depending on which skin you win. And you can win them by doing these three things. First thing is be subscribed to this channel. The bot's gonna know if you're not subbed. Second thing is go into the comments, type bling my ship Loru. The third thing is put your in-game name in that comment. I have to know who to give the contract to. You do those three things and you'll be eligible to win this contest. We do these in every video, so make sure you sub for those. And on the subject of subscribing, we just passed 6,300 subscribes. And y'all, I wanna say thanks. We keep growing. The Discord's growing every single day. The live streams are killing it. We're having a great time making content for y'all. Thank you for the support. We're gonna end this video talking about the best ways to fly the skiff. So make sure you don't miss these. Now, when you're flying in space, you wanna have a couple things on screen to really optimize your mining experience. First thing is you're gonna keep the porpoise at range 2K. This means you can right click the porpoise, open its fleet hanger, and then shift left click that new open window. Now you have this little window you can drag around. As long as you're within 2,500 of the porpoise, you'll be able to access the fleet hanger of the porpoise and drag and drop things. We keep this small because what we do is we press Alt C, open up our mining holds by pressing shift left click. Now it's its own window as well. I put them right here like this. Now, whenever we get some ore or some gas inside of our mining holds, we can drag and drop it into the porpoise's fleet hanger and then on the porpoise dragger from the fleet hanger to the mining hold. This means you don't have to micro as much. You don't have to keep opening up the porpoise, closing it. As long as you're within range of the fleet hanger, you can have some easy, decent micro. You can change the default range of your ship by left clicking and hold on your ship in space. Go into one of these radial menus. Go to your keep at range section here. You can see that I'm going up and down and so is the distance. You can do this on any ship to make sure that no matter what you press, you're good to go. We're gonna set that to 2K. Now, if I press and hold E, you're going to see this menu down here says keep at range, click target. I click the porpoise, it's going to keep that porpoise at range. You know it worked if you see the name of the ship keeping at range and the distance. The next thing you must be doing on the porpoise or on the skiff or both is de-scanning. That's this right here. There's our porpoise. Definitely check out our de-scanning guide just popped up in the right-hand corner for you. This is one of the most important tools when you're in wormhole space. Local chat doesn't work when you're in wormhole space. The only way to find other ships is with probes and with the directional scanner. Information is power and you need to know if there's a fleet warping on top of you before you see them. The next thing is the drones. When we're on the gas site or ore site, we launch our drones so they're in space. We're going to right, I'm gonna bring the drone menu out here so y'all can see it better. We're gonna right click the drones. We're gonna go to assist. We're gonna tell it to assist our porpoise pilot. This means that if the porpoise pilot starts engaging an enemy, the drones on our skiff are gonna automatically start fighting those things. This means that if someone's jumping on top of you, whether it's sleepers or players alike, you can defend yourself with less clicks, meaning you have to do less micro in order to kill the stuff and then get the hell out. It is our mission to be able to equip new bros and CEOs alike with the best EVE knowledge. Check out this playlist here for all the goodies. This weekend, we have a huge live stream coming up. Make sure you sub to not miss out. We gave away over 1 billion isk a couple streams ago in the form of scope syndication skins. And we're looking forward to giving out even more this coming weekend. Thanks again, y'all. We'll see you in the next one.